Blackbusters. What's cracking, fam? Bam. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of Blackbusters, the best movie critique review podcast in the world. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. In the world, Craig. Yes, indeed. I'm your host, Big Ja. <laughs> Across from me is my co-host, Big Tone. Very happy to be here. Very happy to be here. Very happy it to is be you. Here. It is you. Big Tone. <laughs> the best day of my life. I yes. Oh, my goodness. It. I can't I believe can't it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Man. And once again, I yes. got my brother in the yes. building again. I got to yes. keep bringing him back because he's, he's so dope back. at what he does. Yes. He's back. Ken Edwin TV, bro. Yes. Yes, on, sir. On a whole nother day. Yeah. On a whole nother day. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And um, I'm... Honored to be here uh, talking about this movie. Oh, Amen. what this is movie. this movie? Oh, man. Here's the thing, man. <laughs> Some people were upset that they are not on this episode. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And some people feel some type of way because you've been on the show a few times, a Amen. couple times. Because of this film, I brought you back, man. That's a legendary film. Yes. And uh, yes, uh, people are really gonna be mad at me now. Yeah, they're gonna really be mad at you now, man. Because we are talking hot about seat. today. We are doing New Jack City, Ooh, living <laughs> just enough for, for the city, city I live in. Just enough. <laughs> e, e, e. Mine's e. E. This is the Ooh. sound everybody yeah. won't get down. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> must know. <laughs> hey, this soundtrack mm -hmm. alone. Yeah. This is a pillar in black cinema. I think it it, it just strengthens so many careers. Yeah. 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 It's one of those movies. It solidified Ice T. Yeah. Yes. You know. As a cop um, for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. <laughs> That's what he's done me, for, the, yeah. for the rest of his life. Because mm -hmm. crazy thing about it, I remember Ice T with Mario Van Peebles back in the day, even before this. Yeah. Yeah. In Rapping Hood. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll do that one day mm -hmm. too. <laughs> yeah. Rapping Hood was one of my movies as a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A little nigga. Yeah. My dad had the movie Rapping Hood. Anyhow, we'll get to that <laughs> weeks from now. Yeah. How old but, is that? Uh, 1980. Oh, yeah. That's early. 19, 1986, 87, I believe. That's yeah. early. First time yeah. I saw Ice T in the movie was Breaking. Mm hmm. Yeah. Around the same time. Around the yeah. same. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and he <laughs> played, Ice T played himself. Yes. In this, but he was still acting. He was still doing the shit. Hmm. Uh, well, I can't wait to get to Rapping Hood. That's another day. <laughs> but uh, New Jack City, starring Wesley Snipes, Wesley Snipes, Ice T, mm -hmm. Alan Payne, yep, yes, who else? Chris uh, Rock, Chris Rock, mm -hmm. Chud Christ Nelson, Christopher Williams, yep, Christopher, Christopher Williams. Williams. That, excuse mm -hmm. me, Christopher Williams, bro, yeah, yep. singer, yes, turned actor, yep. yeah, and did his. Did his thing, Kareem Akbar. Yep. Yes, yep. that's who Christopher <laughs> Williams was. Uh, Bill Nunn. Bill Nunn. Mm. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Vanessa Williams. Vanessa Williams. Yes, fine. Um, Keith Phyllis, Sweat. Keith, <laughs> Keith Sweat was in Flavor it. Flavor Flav. Aaron Hall. <laughs> yeah. Aaron Hall. So yes. all right, let's just get into that. It's uh -huh. more. It was almost. It, I feel like New Jack City when they made this film, they were they, they said we're gonna show off. Yeah. We're going to show up. We're going to have dancing. We're going to have singing. We're going to have the New Jack Swing yeah. music all through it. We got the 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 clothes they wore. Mm. They was When I tell you these guys was dipped, mm -hmm. they fits the whole the hairstyle. Movie. I feel like this, this they, it turned New Jack Swing into New Jack Swing. Yeah. Like it wasn't Facts. called yeah. New Jack Swing until this movie. Yeah. New Jack Swing. City. It, it was New before Jack it was just Teddy Roddy music. It was Teddy Roddy, mm -hmm. Teddy, Teddy Roddy, Aaron yeah, Hall music. Man. That's it. Now yep. it's New Jack Swing. Now it had and a name. You yeah. see, in the movie, they had dance breaks. Yeah. They were cut from the, the action in the scene mm -hmm. in the club and show like doing like niggas doing, doing like, their dance routines. routines. Doing their routines. You know what I'm saying? Pop locking, yeah. hopping, doing housing and all yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. This is when we used to dance and, and lose lots of calories. Yes. Man. Because it was you had kinetic. To be shape. It was yes. moving in there. Right. So it was and they had it, to dance. Yes. They made a purpose. They made a they made it they they put effort into showing 
the viewers all different types of hip hop. Yeah, right. The music, right. The street shit, the language, right. the language. slang. Come on, man. Yeah. The, the singing on the corner. Yeah, yep. yeah. That the was in the movie with the, with, yeah. with the with the flaming trash yeah. can. Yeah, that's how you know. It's like, and man. It, 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 this is 1991. Yeah, mm -hmm. so literally Early. a couple of years from the 80s. Yeah. yeah, so this is the crack epidemic when it was cracking mm -hmm. heavy. Um, <laughs> pun intended. Mm -hmm. Oh, pun intended. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cracking. The crack epidemic was cracking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> man. Uh, and this was that movie. Yeah. Yeah. This was that movie. This was equivalent to Boys in the Hood mm -hmm. for LA. Yeah. Yeah. This is New York, New Jack City. This is this is shows you kind of how New York was how New York I was I was about to say how it was cracking the game. I'm gonna say how it was popping. Yeah. So this okay. So I so I've got a different take on that. Okay. So to me, New Jack City is even like above a tale of New York. Like I feel like this movie could have been set anywhere. It could have been oh, set in course, Chicago. It could have, so it's not the same ode to the city that like a Boys in the Hood is, which is like the only reason why I LA. say not because mm -hmm. it starts off on the bridge. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's it starts iconic. off. It's, it's in iconic. New York. It's mm -hmm. iconic. It's, like, it's New York, um, absolutely. And seeing and just because of like you know I don't know if, I don't know if you know like the history of like the, 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 New, the New York Supreme Team mm -hmm. like. If you know anything about them, you know that New Jack City was specifically based yeah, on their based crew. off of their crew. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get like it. so, it's equivalent to like in you like in, in, in Boys in the Hood. They're like, oh, you ain't, I ain't, mm -hmm. you ain't from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like literally talking about the city, yeah. uh, and the gangs in in L.A. With, with New Jack City. They didn't say the Supreme Team. They said the CMB boys. Right. Yeah. Which is like, and, and how the operation was set up was very mm -hmm. similar to the Supreme Team. Yeah. Right. So see, the only, the, and the only reason why I make that distinction is that, um, and the way, like, you know, last time when we were talking about Jason's lyric, right? Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how the Fifth Ward is, is a character in the movie, mm -hmm. right? I feel like in New Jack City, the city isn't as much of a character. No. And like in my opinion, we've got the iconic bridge, right? Dude, the but, basketball courts. But we spend a lot of time in the Carter. We spend a lot of time, like, we don't spend a time like in, in in the projects, right? Like, you know how in Boys in the Hood, it was very clear we're going to Crenshaw. Yeah. We're on Crenshaw. Yeah. Where's my dad? Mm -hmm. My daddy's up in Compton, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you know, where the city's landmarks played a big part in the film. In New Jack City is New York. The but characters. like we don't we don't get into Harlem Harlem. Yeah. Right? But that's where that's I I, I hear you saying. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's where, remember the dance breaks. Remember the way people was dancing. Right. And like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure they was dancing like that everywhere. But New York is where yeah. the heart of hip hop, 91. Yeah. But it's the culture. Is it the, cultural? The, he's talking about the culture. Like, So the culture of hip hop was like a lot of stuff that was happening inside. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff does happen inside. Even when we first see Pookie and mm -hmm. he's strung out, he's like... Yelling at a girl inside, yeah. like yeah. they're talking. It's like they're not talking about New York. When you first see Pookie, he's running. I mean, maybe I, I oh, no, have got, been to shot. New York. He I, often, yeah, I've been to that. He's running yeah. through like not the Rucker, but yeah, he's running yeah. through like like these parks, these these right. basketball mm -hmm. parks, are, and and look like New York. What I'm saying, he's running down the stairs. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wide shot of him running down the stairs, the, the, going down the stairs on the bike. Yeah, that's yeah. New York. Yeah. And if you've been out there, you know that's that's not Chicago. That's yeah. not Atlanta. That's New York. But it's still inside. He's it's outside, out running inside, like he's running down the stairs. Right. No, that this is outside. He's like, talking about outside with the, the on the bike. The, the bike. He's riding okay, his bike. The bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely yeah. New York. It's just that, like this, this movie to me almost feels, even though it's called New Jack City, it just feels bigger than the city. It oh, feels nah. like it feels. It, it made feels, me think of New York. Like, it oh. feels bigger than. What's bigger than New York? I just think like like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to properly articulate it. In this way, it's the drug culture. It's yeah. the culture of drugs. It's the culture of selling drugs, what it can mm -hmm. do to, uh, not even to a city. It's just like, it's really just, you're following Nino Brown. You really get caught up in Nino Brown. Right. <sighs> to me, you get caught up in, in I'm looking in, at all the Nino buildings. Brown. I'm looking at how the buildings are. Mm -hmm. Facts. I spent a lot of time in New York. Maybe that's why. Cause I, yeah. I, it reminds me so much of New York. They, New set, York. they, set, you know up in a, they set up in the building. Yeah. Like, the even like yeah. the Carter yeah. apartment. But even before that, mm -hmm. like, the way when you drink, they in that Jeep driving down the street, nice. and you see, it reminds me of New York. Yeah. And you yeah, say, look, yeah. like it's bigger than the city. I'm like, 
that's the city. That's, that's, that's like what we're doing. You, is you New can't York. really yeah. get bigger than New York. I guess. I guess yeah. it's important. Like, like you know, I've I've spent time in New York, but always like either on business or just you know, um, quick in and out, right? So like the same way I can understand what you're saying because the same way like the wood feels familiar uh-huh. to oh, me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like you could see that. I feel that. So yeah. you you're, you're like. I've grabbed someone's booty mm-hmm. on that court. <laughs> right. Like, I've never sold right. drugs. I've never. The, boom. I've never rock a bar baby to anybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. you know, in, in, the, in the middle of spot. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but 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 to your point, um, I feel like New Jack City, I, like I wouldn't call this like a hood movie. I don't know. Is, is it a hood it's, movie? It's for sure a hood okay. movie. Okay. Um, then it's one of the best it's ever literally, made. It's literally <laughs> the hood, what, <laughs> right? It's literally the hood yeah. because <laughs> it shows. If you know, if you see, it, it shows the two year or four year a prog- process progress of CMB blowing up. Yeah, they having wars with the with different with the ops. Mm-hmm. They talking with the Italians. They're making moves. Mm-hmm. This, that, and the other. Um, they went from that little small warehouse. Remember when the Italian dude came out there? And um, they were they had like a table like this, like a wood table, yeah. mm-hmm. and like chairs Set around, up in like, the like fold out chairs in the back of something to where they had this big ass his his house is like a big presentation room, like yeah. a big, mm-hmm. like big a big boardroom, boardroom, yeah. yeah. fifteen yeah. people at the table, yeah. yeah. And yeah. He, he's cha- he, he's dressing better. He's doing all this is yeah. yeah. It, it, show, it went from what 80, 86 to ninety one. I don't like. Did they ever show the the time progression? They did. They said eighty seven. It said eighty. Five and it's an eighty-seven or something like that. Okay, I saw, I saw that. I know I saw eighty-seven okay. at one yeah. point in time, I, and I thought that might have been like the establishing. Like, but you're right. That's like, why they showed him robbing Ice T at first, mm-hmm. his character, and then two years later he was a crackhead. He's all strung out. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. They show, yeah. and I'm I'm looking, and that that look. I remember I I can go in New York and see niggas rapping on the on the corners, yeah. singing Facts. on the corners still, and um. And see like the the little food lines, the the, the free yeah, food yeah, yeah. lines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It reminded me, Chris. Yeah, said, and maybe hey. and maybe that's what it was. I feel like it was that. It was the the fact that they were showing us a different side of New York. Yeah, that's what it was. Because they're not showing you the how great the city is. Right. Nah. Right. It's, it's showing, the slums. You, the, it's showing yeah. you the slums. So when you see the slums, you you don't look at that and go, "That's New York." You just say. Oh, I've been to that place before. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See, I say I, I do say that. I see you that. say that. You think like because like, they, like think that's about all. Work? Think about all the big time films that were legendary, mm-hmm. uh, good or bad. Yeah, um, Miracle on uh, on was it 34th Street? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying the mm-hmm. New York, the classic New York. Yeah. Um, uh, most movie most movies are based in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Sex in the City. Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters, right? You know what I'm saying, like but so. They're showing like magical subways of the, the city, Warriors, yeah. huh? It's, Warriors it's, is hood. Mm-hmm. There was a different yep. hoods, and that's 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 the 70s. Like, yeah. so when I think of like the only thing they didn't do as much mm-hmm. in New York in, in New Jack City was talk about was show the subways. Show the subways. Yeah. I don't think they show like the landscape of New York too much. Like not a lot. Because they if only like showed it in the beginning. Because if you compare, like if you compare like clockers, right? Now to me, clockers feels very New York. Right? Mm-hmm. It's setting the projects, uh-huh. right? Like the whole movie takes place in and around the projects. Um to me, like New Jack City feels very Manhattan, which it is, because it's based, mm-hmm. it's based on Harlem, mm-hmm. right? Um, that's where the big that's where Clockers is the foot soldiers mm-hmm. yeah. I ain't no bosses over there yeah. Yeah, Clockers yeah. this is, is a niggas, movie about bosses that, and that's yeah. why it looks I, it looks a little cleaner yes it's a little that's they the got, point yeah. that's you know the point we've been trying to get to right right it's, it's, it's a movie about it's, bosses it's, it's such a big conglomerate now mm-hmm. that the police have to go do undercover work yeah. yes to infiltrate this big movement yeah. mm-hmm. they got floppy mm-hmm. disk and computers they're on that level yeah, Man, yeah. they're floppy disk <laughs> they're blowing up the whole building just to keep them. And they're not running and hopping gates. And this, yeah. and, and this brings me to my to my first kind of like nitpick uh, uh, about the about the film. And I love this movie. I mm-hmm. love this movie. There were certain things that 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 had me question again. Like you know, you guys, you know, probably uh, lived a rougher life than me, so you probably understand the game uh, more so mm-hmm. than I do. Uh, <laughs> but like, would they have had floppy disks? Like, like I felt like it was a lot of documentation for a criminal enterprise. Like, only, did they need the computer system? The only, like, did they need all of this like right. evidentiary stuff to now, to run it? If if we would go back and you you probably could look this up, 
Look at the look up the Supreme Team and see what they had because mm-hmm. it's very basic. Yeah. I know they had they had cookhouses where the chicks was in there naked. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They had that in LA too. That yeah. makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um the floppy disk, what why exactly do they have to have yeah. shit on computer? It was a lot of like that's to, that's too much of a paper. To be, to be that's what I'm saying. Like I was like to be running this this drug but, cartel. But you're still looking at that through the lens of knowing, okay, this is problematic if we have all of this stuff. Right, all this data yeah. right here. But like, Whereas what back data in the day, did they have? Well, back in the day, you have. I mean, those guys, the the real guys that are that run drug industries, mm-hmm. they're smart. They're they're heady. They're right. like right. they're mathematicians. These people were really really smart. They just didn't seem like I like I and they're organized. I didn't believe that they. You can be all of those things and not be evidentiary as but what well. I'm saying is, right, like I'm leave is, all that that stuff. But what I'm saying is, this is a beginning of that. This is the beginning of the internet. Mm-hmm. Like they've only had computers around, like a computer. Oh, the first computer is like yeah. is like that the seventies. Right. The, the internet. Internet, the internet came in the nineties, okay. right? Late nineties, late nineties. Late late 90s. 90s. Yeah, like mm-hmm. ninety six. So that means that means that certain things were around. So you get a floppy disk, you can throw a floppy disk away. It's just right. like a, a bookie. Yeah, a bookie. They have they have paper, and then it's like paper that you can really get rid of. You just throw it mm-hmm. in the water and it disappears. Here's another thing that okay. perplexed me. Mm-hmm. Um. It wasn't probable cause for just a regular search warrant <laughs> to like <laughs> you know I mean? to, to, to go up in there, right? Like you know, like did we did, did we have like from what Pookie was able to get just visually? Yeah, wasn't there enough evidence to take that to a judge and be like, "Would you let us walk in here?" You know what I mean? That's not what they do. That's not they. Their job is to catch the big fish. Right. They want to catch the big fish, and if, even if I get. If I can get Nino Brown, mm-hmm. I want to get who's wor- who Nino Brown okay. is working for. So, I, so I the, think so. The idea of just like let's just uh, push everybody from the enterprise. You know what I mean? Like think you about know, the, all think about the Ricos. Oh, to answer your question, yeah, they had lookouts. So even if they had a warrant, they could see the police coming a mile away. Yeah. Right. So you see, you, let's say you see a police car or, or a, even an unmarked car mm-hmm. pull up. Yeah. Right. And you see two or three, five folks getting out looking like cops, thinking about yo, hey man. Dump everything. Right. So by the time they get upstairs, mm-hmm. yeah. up to the eighth floor of the, yeah. of the Carter apartments, all the drugs and everything is dipped off. It's yeah, either yeah. dumped or stashed. Right. Yeah. So you need somebody that's going to be able to catch them in their element. Yeah. Not uh, not under the uh, not under the display or under the viewage of like the the lookouts. Mm-hmm. Catch them and keep them because anybody coming through there, they gonna see them. Right. That was the question that I was asking. Like, are the police doing a good job here? Right, like it's I like a crackhead I, like, up in like, there. like I kept like wondering, <laughs> like th- like that's the obvious part, right? Like it's just I kept thinking, like this investigation, I just don't know if it's working out, right? Wow. Like 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 Mario Van Peebles, a uh, stone, stone, you know, go goes to the, the detective, the, the detective or or the lieutenant, and 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 is asking for like the two worst cops possible, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> like right. the lieutenant is like. But- they're the two worst cops, be- but they're also probably the best cops for that job, right? And so and so I. Like I knew you would, I knew you would make that that statement, and I was like, so like, are like, is Ice T the only guy that has like an informant? Like, there's nobody, like, like there was nobody else out there that we could get because what did they do really besides like the shootouts and then the, and the getting in once they had to go undercover? But the initial investigation, all you needed was an informant. Like you didn't need Ice T or Judd Nelson's character. Well, how you gonna get an informant if the if the informant don't trust you? Well, I mean, but but I gotta imagine that that the the police department is filled with people, you know. Fuck, Frankie Needles and them had a snitch inside the 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 organization, so I have to feel like there were better choices. Yeah, but than, the, than Pookie. But you're, you're talking about uh, the the uh, <laughs> you're talking about um, you're talking about like the, how the how the system works, right? Right. Like in Frankie Needles, that's he's they're like above. They're like a, yeah. That's yeah. a different kind of organization. But, but what what I mean is, is that like there had to be better options than 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 the the approach that they took getting Pookie on the inside. I think that's, there I think had that's, to be another I, way. I right? think that's usually what people do. I, I feel like the first informant you're going to get is going to be somebody that's a base head. That's just what it is. Base how head is how else? How else? Do you think that who could have gotten there? Who couldn't? Who could have gotten the job there? I mean, I'm thinking like you know, you could have, you could have got, 
you could you could have you know cozied up to another lookout. You could have you know had uh, uh somebody that was clean pretending to be a base head get inside form relationships. Like it, it feels like okay, like do we have a plan B? I feel like, like it, plan, was, it was like it was like Pookie plan, or, it was like Pookie or bust. The plan B was him and him yeah. and uh and yeah, uh, dude, which is which is set me up and we'll and we'll pretend to to be right. biased. And I don't think that was their plan. That their was a, plan that was that was Ice T's plan. Ice mm-hmm. T's plan was to go and get Pookie because mm-hmm. Pookie used to he knows everything because right. he's he's the he's the crackhead. Right. So send the crackhead back in there, clean mm-hmm. him up, send him back in there mm-hmm. because they know who he is. Right. And see if he can get a get, job. Get what, get what we well, need. Well, actually, the it was Pookie's idea. He didn't want it, he wanted the job. Right, yeah. Ice T wasn't going to have him do that at all. He right. was like, "Man, you you just fresh out of rehab, and you talking yeah, about you yeah. want a job? Let me let me help you take needle let me, down, let me man. Take needle down, man." He was like, "Nah, man, you ain't ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. ready for that, man. Yeah. Come on, give me a chance, man. Yeah. Yeah. Get the job. Let I can't go back to the streets. Down. You know how that's gonna be. Yeah. Right. So that was it was Pookie, and then he yeah. brought, and then obviously Ice T's right. character brought. Yeah. Um. To, he brought that to Stone. Stone mm-hmm. was like, I don't know about that. I'm yeah. just gonna be a lookout. He was just gonna be a lookout, but they promoted him to they the brought him in to the drugstore. Yeah. yeah. And that's where shit went crazy. And, and that's and and, and I remember Judd Nelson's character was like, we should pull him out now. Mm-hmm. We should get him out now because mm-hmm. it was obvious. That was another part that was just like, okay, so in the drugstore, all the women was naked, uh-huh. but not the but like all the men looked like they were working Banana Republic. Right. Right? Like like and soft serve yeah. and pink berry and shit. <laughs> right. He looked like, like he worked at a creamery. That didn't make any sense to me. I feel like I feel like uh at that time Chris Rock probably was like, no, nah, I'm not taking my shirt. I'm not taking well, yeah, I'm not, no, he had his shirt off when he was smoking crack. Yeah. I mean, with the crack thing. Yeah. Right. But and, just just regular walking around, and make it look like some things are going yeah. on. But uh, just my regular body out here, mm-hmm. how it really is. Yeah, <laughs> how it really is. Let's, they gonna say, wait, he looked like he on crack again. <laughs> can right. we talk about how good the CMB crew is? Like as, way. as a crew, so like Keisha is one of my favorite oh, characters. So you, you need her in soldier. movies. So mm-hmm. like. Soldier. Just the soldier, yeah. You know, loyal, loyal, the done a man, mm-hmm. like the, the, yeah. the loyal, the, the, the done a man. Even yeah. G Money before he gets, I, I hate it. I hate it as a kid. I didn't understand, but as I got older, I was like, oh, G Money, you a sucker, bro. Yeah. How did how did, how does how do you how do you end up that way? Yeah. I, I can see. I, I thought his demise should have been him trying to cut. Little side deals, mm-hmm. and that was his demise for the most part. Ultimately, but you started smoking the glass pipe. That man. was the. That's the. That's that's. No one good. Mm-hmm. No one. You two like G Money yeah, yeah. and they know they y'all would yeah. never do that. Right. I think that that I think that showed because he was flashy. He he's in it for the glory. He's not in it to make money and and be the greatest. He's like, no, I just I'm just. I'm in it for the bitches, but like, no, but the bitches, but what's all oh, the bitches? Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? He's in mm-hmm. it for that, the so bitches, it's like oh, the he's the party guy. True, the party guy. True, is dip and but so, in but so was Nino. Not crack though, so was Nino. Of course, so not. Nino, because Nino was a party. Nino was too. a party yeah. guy too. Nino was about to he bitches drank. too. He drank he right, did. and he was about to bitches too, mm-hmm. right? And in some instances, you can see where G Money is almost a better qualified to Nino. Like, G-Money had a better read on, on the Don Amateo shit. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, he, he had a smarter right. read there. Yeah. And and Nino, I don't know if you should have did that. Like, you know, right. Frankie Needles is cool, you know, kind of right. kind yeah, of yeah. thing. A better approach to Nino's like, fuck everything. I'm above it all. And Nino yeah. was more about the glory than anything. The world is Nino, mine. The world is mine. Right. He but kept it, saying, "The world is ours, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. It's all mine." Don't forget yeah. about the brothers. Like you know, yeah. G Money kept bringing yeah. that in. Don't forget about us, the brothers too, right? You yeah. know, and that's why G Money just wanted a little piece of his own pie yeah. mm-hmm. because Nino kept saying everything was his. Was shit. Let and you, you fuck. And you fucking my bitch. And you fucking my bro, oh, right. man. Like that's you know, crazy. You taking all the credit. I bought you this. Mm-hmm. I was the one that put the vial in front of you. Mm-hmm. And, and and told you that I had been testing this out on the side. Mm-hmm. I brought you this opportunity, right? Yeah. Which is why he said, like, you know, you didn't do this shit by yourself. You didn't do this shit by yourself. You yeah. embarrassed me, man. <laughs> that was that was G Money's beef, which I feel like was a legitimate beef. Yeah. Everything. I feel like, I feel like G Money's beef so was legit. So you guys legit. saying that 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 brought him to the pipe. 
It all shouldn't the have. problems. It shouldn't have. I'm and not going niggas, that far. And honestly, G Money was a sucker for the panty draw for the penny draws too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, G Money was a sucker for the draws, bro. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. if I see a chick that's for the streets, I'm my wife and her down. Yeah. He even said it. I bust her draws down a few uh, once. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he got back with her. Don't make her your girl. You yeah. G Money, yeah. nigga. Yeah. But the one thing that that I I must say, and again, we like, I think Uniqua was special. Ooh, she was irresistible. <laughs> I think Unique what was special. She, she was over by the bar. She yeah. was like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I like, I don't think <laughs> like even though even though they talk about her like like she was just kind of like some sort of special broad, I think there was a vixen unique quality. Was unique. Unique what was something else. Yeah. Something wanted- else, right? Uh enough to to have Nino risk it all, right? Like, you know. Damn, this this woman I done been with, you know, forever. They were both suckers, man. Like, like she yeah. gonna be there. Yeah, and I, Nino, Keisha. but Nino knows, like, like he's the he's the piece. Mm-hmm. He's the, you know, what I'm saying he's the strongest piece on the yeah. board to him, right? So yeah. if I'm the strongest piece and this is my organization, this is I could probably dip and dabble. He, she, he should have known as soon as she saw Nino mm-hmm. that that's a problem. Yep. Like, oh, you want to be go be her? All right, Nino. Hey, this is a flip. Mm-hmm. Flipper. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like G you money, don't, you ain't to supposed flip. to. You ain't supposed to wife to yeah. flip, yeah. man. Yeah, she wanted to. She wanted you G, to go to him. This Nino Brown, mm-hmm. and this is you, G yeah, Money. Bro. And again, I, I, I look at it like as either the unique situation being the straw that broke the camel's back, right? Like you know, or the cherry on the top of like a long line of like disrespect. I don't believe, like, like I do think the the missing piece of the story is. G money, the conflict in G money, sending him to the pipe. I still don't understand I don't why G how, money got yeah. to the pipe, but I do understand G money's beef, resenting right? Nino mm-hmm. Brown, his big bro, yeah. Yeah. for smashing his girl. Mm-hmm. Also taking all the credit for the empire yes. they built. Yes, and he's the one that brought the the uh, the, the the base to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brought the product to him. Like, yeah. bro, you need to get into this, bro. I've been checking it out. Mm-hmm. It's a good idea. But he wasn't. He wasn't doing it. What he wasn't doing. What they did to it. That's the thing. What you mean? It's like if I if if you bring something to me, right? right? And I'm like, okay, I'm thinking about it. You're mm-hmm. bringing it to me for a reason. You know, I'm going to blow this up. Yeah. Right. If I blow it up, mm-hmm. what you bring to me, it's like, yeah, we did it. It's like, but you still brought it to me to do it. Right. No, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Nino's the boss, but but I think like here's the comparison, like, and I think to to G Money's gripe. When the Carter gets infiltrated, G Money's at work, right? Right. right. G Money is at work, in it. right? Right. Like it's G Money collecting them floppy disks yeah. out, you know, out out the thing. G Money, can, can you program Pascal? Right. Like yeah, you know, yeah. like like yeah. G Money is working while free. Nino yeah. is luxuriating, right? right. And so and so and so that's what G Money's beef was. Was like, yo, I helped build this, so, but I, he he. G- Nino's the boss because he's heartless. Yeah. Right. Not because he's more capable. Cause, Cause even when he said, Hey, uh, he said, uh, G Money, you ain't fit to lead. And G Money stood up, he probably was he probably was gonna be like, what the fuck you mean? I'm leading, nigga. Yeah, right. I'm the one, yeah. I'm the boss. I'm in the trenches, I'm mm-hmm. in the fucking mm-hmm. apartments, bro. Right. But he said, sit your fire ass down before I make change. Great line. That was that scene. Classic <laughs> line. <laughs> best line. Classic, classic best line. line. Uh-huh. And that's why he wasn't the boss, because yeah. He 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 deferred all the time to yeah. the big bro, mm-hmm. right? And but he was leading, he was making the right decisions. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it is it, his character uh, failed when he started smoking that pipe. Yeah, and he didn't have the people. He didn't have the people. What you mean he had the people? Who who was who was who was his debtor man? Who was his? Yeah, he didn't they have anybody. There, they weren't doing yeah. that for him. They were doing that for Nino. They were all. They, like they were, were the crew. Yeah. but they weren't doing that for him. I mean, like what you got to know is that under no circumstances would Keisha. Agree to mutiny against Nino with G Money. So if like G Money had pulled Keisha to the side and was like, "Listen, you know, we're gonna. I don't, I don't like the way things are run. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be the new boss, right?" They like, no, yeah, Nino. we, 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 we with Nino. Dope. But I don't think that uh, he didn't. Same thing. I don't, I don't think they would ride on G G Money for for Nino either. Because this says when he when he stabbed mm-hmm. Akbar a uh, Kareem mm-hmm. in the arm, yeah, and the hand was trying to strangle him, yeah. That man was like, nah, nigga, what you doing? Yeah, Chill, yeah. this right. fam, we right. don't do that to us. Yeah. It's just so that's the same. They wasn't a very on good point. The, yeah. the G money would have he got protection mm-hmm. from then the man and Keisha just like right. um uh, Wesley did. Yeah. But, uh, but, Nino but he did. said Nino don't kill him. <laughs> yeah, huh? 
When he stabbed know. him, it was like, oh, no, yeah. no one, no one. He stabbed him and went to choke him out right away. Right. And he was like, Nino, like, nah, man. Like, no one knew that he was yeah. gonna stab him in the hand. And yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk about what what wasn't on the page or wasn't right. on the screen. Right. But when Nino's riding in the car with the Dunham man mm-hmm. and and he tells G Money, if he's not who he says he is, I'm gonna kill him. And then I'm gonna kill you. Right? That's the hierarchy. The Dunnaman doesn't doesn't blink. Like the Dunnaman doesn't respond. The Dunnaman doesn't, because doesn't look. At that point, you was you, you a traitor. Right. Or at that at that point, you're fucking just, up the business. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. You're fucking just, up the business. But Akbar Kareem fucked up the business too by bringing somebody who wasn't who they were supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And he and, and that was just that was just Kareem, a new nigga mm-hmm. for bringing and, for bringing um for bringing in uh uh Chris Rock, Pookie? Chris Rock, and uh Chris, yeah Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. I mean Pookie, mm-hmm. and then uh, even again, no, that's not true. The 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 uh the IC was um G Money, G Money, yeah, yeah. Right, your money. Who with the connect for Frankie Needles? Right, yeah. It's a, this is what this is what is so awesome about this movie. This world all makes sense to me, mm-hmm. right? Like all of this makes sense to me. The mm-hmm. the the characters, the muscle, mm-hmm. um, even the Carter, like as as like the Carter the, as a concept of taking over an apartment complex. Mm-hmm. Like that feels like a little bit movie Hollywood. I don't know if that, if it happens like that, not that big, ass, not, not that you know, not like that, but, but everything like... else, everything else works. There's one other like little nitpick that you guys might help me call out, which I think is fundamental. Nino moves with security mm-hmm. everywhere. Yeah. There's security at the club. Mm-hmm. There's security on the, on the courts, right? Mm-hmm. There's security everywhere. Nino moves except that wedding when the hit took place. There was no the security on Nino's apartment roof, right? Well, they were there. But at oh, the wedding, it? where was the security? At, at the, the way, wedding? They were at the wedding. <laughs> the way that they are all the other times that Nino is around. Like, it was, it was, it was Nino and G-Money and Keisha casually walking towards the car. Where's the Dunning man? He was chasing some skis. Yeah. But where was all that muscle that Nino normally rolls with? Keisha, mm-hmm. Keisha's a muscle. No, Maybe. I'm talking I'm talking about like the centuries. <laughs> like not not the principal, not a Keisha, not a Dunning man, but just the, about, the random, yeah. you know, gun holder Maybe number four. Maybe because it was a wedding. Yeah, there's a code. It, it's like, you know, weddings and funerals, you don't really you don't shoot yeah. church. Up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a, there's the Italians didn't give a damn. That was, that was the one, because I was just thinking about how all how Nino was protected mm-hmm. at seemingly at all times. Right. From all angles. But I, I he was think, so vulnerable at this wedding. But, uh, I think that, told, that was the he, reason. He really mm-hmm. was protected. The only person that got killed was uh, Keisha. Mm-hmm. Keisha. Right. But I mean, and, and she's security. Yeah. He could easily got got. True, and then his name was gonna kill him, and that's mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's an important that's an important scene too because mm-hmm. it makes you really not like Nino, yeah, because he grabbed that girl, he grabbed, he grabbed yeah, that little yeah. girl, he grabbed and the little girl boy. I was like, whoa, like, what yeah. no, doing? like yeah. what is he doing? He grabbed the girl. And look at first, it's like okay, he about to yeah. say the kids, but he holding them up and beauty yeah. and, 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 and like, this what is you how. Doing? He, he his career was saved when he did Dem- no not demolition man he's a bad guy in that mm-hmm. too pastor fifty seven yeah, yeah. Uh, murder of sixteen hundred he became he was a good guy yeah, a lot yeah. Of other, he was a good guy more than he was a bad guy I'm actually he waiting played. for that bad guy role like the bad guy role is such a great role such a great role you mm-hmm. know Nino Brown such a great role uh, uh, see Batman you, you kind of doing one now I get mean, back I'm just saying you know, yeah. saying we yeah. talking about uh, on another yeah. level continue to the I yeah. get it yeah. Yeah. Like just get that because like let's say let's it, even if it's me I'm the funny guy mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. everybody's the funny guy until they do that one role mm-hmm. that turns you into something else mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like everybody needs that role everybody mm-hmm. Urkel needed mm-hmm. that role yeah he Urkel would have got out of Urkel if he'd have played a bad guy and mm-hmm. just went and did just foul what's his like, name John Lithgow yeah. Yeah, John yeah. Lithgow's from Harry and the Hendersons. He did Cliffhanger mm-hmm. with just Sylvester Stallone. He was like, right. this thing is yeah. crazy. Yeah. Know, this is, he did, this is he, wild. He did, yeah. uh, he did a, a Ricochet with Denzel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He played that, but he he also played the father in the sitcom Third Rock from the Sun. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, Michael Cranston? Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Like, come that's on. That's Malcolm, per- in, that's Malcolm in the Middle. That's Malcolm in the Middle. That's Malcolm in the Middle. You would ne- you if you told me he was gonna play mm-hmm. a drug meth lab a, a, a meth drug kingpin kingpin, mm-hmm. I'm like no no way yeah. he's a suit he created a bad guy but this, like, is, this but, is wild but this is why like I think like 
Nino Brown is the best character that Wesley Snipes ever played. Ooh. Because, Nino, like, despite all of this, Wesley gives you so much with Nino. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He gives you so much. Like, yeah. the rooftop conversation that mm-hmm. Nino has with Ice-T. Tears. Right? You know what I mean? Where, where You don't want to do it. No, no, no. I'm not. No, that's the G-Money. That's the uh, G-Money. My G-Money. bad. We'll go. We'll go, we'll, go ahead. We'll take go ahead. My the, bad. Uh, the short qu- cut to that. But the conversation where he has with Ice-T, where he talks about how he killed that that lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you understand that, like, the game made me. Right. Right. Right? right. The, he, he's a product he's of his He's got compassion in that. Like, there, there's a, there's a, he's telling this story, and it's just like, and it's a very revealing part of him. Even yeah. when he's, like, handing out the turkeys and things yeah, like yeah. that, right? Like, you know, it's. When he responds to the old man, like, you know, well, what do you have to offer him? Right? Like, so there's these, there's these layers to to mm-hmm. Nino in addition to like the cutthroat nature. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, you know, he's charming. Mm-hmm. He's charismatic. I was, I was just about right? like, to use you know, those adjectives, bro. Yeah. He's all of those things. Yeah. Most of the time when he walked into a room, he mm-hmm. was smiling. Yeah. Right. Which is scary because he was a cold hearted killer. Cold hearted killer. Right. He and was always like, hey, yeah. what's going on, man? Mm-hmm. Everything cool? Yeah, mm-hmm. all right. He was charming. He was yeah. char- charismatic. Mm-hmm. And he had an air about him that was like, this he, This guy's a cool dude. Yeah. And he, and, he, and he makes the line, which I think is very defining of the character and his interaction with Ice-T. It's just business. It's never Nothing's personal. Never, it's personal. Personal. never personal. Never personal. Never personal. It's just business. He says that. When he says that line, I believe it. Yeah. yeah. Which, which, which brings us to the rooftop um scene yeah. with G Money mm-hmm. and which adds so much weight to that scene mm-hmm. because it truly it is it, it broke his heart. It man. broke his heart, mm-hmm. but this was business. Mm-hmm. Even even with G Money, his brother, the guy he go back to, you know, growing up. When I was eleven, you was thirteen. Yeah. yeah. It's business. Think about how strong a character you have to be to eat a banana. Mm-hmm. And be yeah. that dark, yeah. eating that banana, yep. and still be scary. Still be like, scary. You're not looking mm-hmm. at. You're not looking at. Like, look at this coon. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Yeah. What are you doing? Nope. Eating banana? Like, nope. you just like, Wesley. Wesley like, was God, so dope, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. He was. He was ridiculous. <laughs> Wesley was so dope. Man. Ridiculous. He was. He was. Mm-hmm. He was fantastic. Like I said, I, like I felt like it was a question I've been. I've been wanting to, another question. I've been wanting to ask you. Pepper, you a question because I was watching the film. I wanted to get your opinion. Uh, um, was Keisha the, the lesbian homie? Oh wow! Ooh. Wow! Was she, she wasn't with no dude, huh? Yeah, she was, wasn't. Was Keisha the lesbian homie? She was too fine to be a man. I mean, mm-hmm. lesbian homie. Was, I was, it's oh yeah, fine. Too, 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 too. And that's, the, that's the whole reason. That's right. the whole reason why the lesbian homie is mm-hmm. a lesbian homie because she flies she hell. Yeah. yeah, she just gay or she thinks she mm-hmm. is. Yeah. Nah, Keisha. Keisha wasn't thick though. But here's the thing: this is ninety one. She do look like one ninety one. Yeah. And I remember, y'all know I'm the yam man. Mm-hmm. I like my woman. Uh, robust and heavily, mm-hmm. heavily yammed up. Right. Yeah, but I remember I looked back in '91. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the kind of girls I was into. Yeah, back then, Keisha, Keisha, Keisha's, Keisha. Right. right. I was about to say a chick name that I went to elementary school with. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna do that because she might be like, "Hey, nigga, I ain't you said you said feel that way, man. You better no. say her name, man." Yeah. Middle school, man, Crystal White. <laughs> Let's get her. Government seventh grade. <laughs> Let's see her. Mm-hmm. Look like Keisha. She looked like uh she looked like uh Chiquita from Belly. Oh yeah. Wow. No, 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 not, not Chiquita. Um Chiquita was the uh, was uh Ox Lennox's uh she was killer. still thick. But no, yeah. no, this is uh Keish. <laughs> oh, Shut the fuck up, listen. Yeah. Yeah. She looked like that, bro. Yeah. Terrell Hicks. I risk it all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is back in I this is eighth, seventh grade. Did she yeah. she was greasy like that, like Belly? She too? always had like a, yeah. she was dark. If, she man, was dark and so she had a glow. Yeah. My had, whole had, house had a glow. Like old girl that we saw the other day. Yes. I ain't gonna say her name. I don't know. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm yeah. She had like this yes. natural dark skin glow, like a like a like a like a a film of this yeah. just like a glaze, Beauty. nigga. Like yeah, a glaze. girl. If that was my girl, my whole house would be just black lights. <laughs> right. right. Like, I would have walk around bulbs. and all she could wear that's is loincloth. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Fresh that's out it. the shower. Like, Fresh out the shower. Why are you so dark in here? You oil up? Yeah. You didn't, you yeah. didn't coconut yourself up? The, uh, black lights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me make the case for Keish being the, les- the lesbian homie. Okay. okay. If we talk about the core crew, 
They mm-hmm. make mention of every member of the core crew's sexual orientation. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. When they call out the Dunham Man was chasing that skeezer. Mm-hmm. We know what G Money is into. We what we know what Nino is into. Right. Right? Like, but the one that they didn't call out was Keisha. Keisha. And it begs the question: could Keisha have been an enfor a CMB enforcer and have a man? No. Yes. No. What I don't. If, that, what, that's what kind of man the would she have? What if? What kind of man would she have? What if, if mm-hmm. she's in love with Nino? Here's the thing. That's a great. That this is. A, that's let me, a let great me tell you story. something. Twerk. I was yeah. thinking. I was thinking. Fantastic. Nino, uh, Nino like respect wise, yes. Mm-hmm. But I think she might have had something with G Money. Mm-hmm. They probably was the same age. You got thirteen. Mm-hmm. G Money was eleven. She was ten. Yeah, yeah. And when she got killed, did y'all see mm-hmm. how G Money responded? G-Money yeah, hurt. yeah. Did you hurt. see him kiss G-Money her? G Money was hurt. Yeah, yeah. He kissed her. Yeah, yeah. He was done. He put the he yeah. put the Uzi yeah. down. Was like, Kish. he was crying. Yeah. He picked her up and he kissed her. That yeah. felt. I like, was like, oh, see, that yeah. felt bro- like Kish and G Money always felt brother sister to me. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. That the idea Brown that she could have been lo- in love with Le- with Nino is great. I just don't think we see any evidence of that. I just came away from it like I think he should the lesbian homie, right? <laughs> like you know, I, I think she's. When it's all said then, that might be the more plausible, yeah, more you know, well, more believable. If, I, yeah. She's probably the lesbian. If homie. they go with if they go with her loving loving uh, Nino, Nino, then there's a whole different story that kind of has to come yeah. behind that, and they have right. to explain it. So it's like, no, nah, let's just leave her over there. Mm-hmm. Without the googly eyes and just be like, no, nah, she gonna kill whoever yeah. get close to him. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. Saying it's a, it's a different kind of love, yeah. but it still is love. I just it, think about the world that, a, she, that uh, she would have had to live in, right? Like if 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 Keisha was heterosexual, mm-hmm. right? She would have had to have be concerned. That, she wouldn't have to be concerned, but but niggas would be hollering even mm-hmm. the century. Cause you know, like niggas would be hollering outside their station, right? Mm-hmm. So, so even like the 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 watch out. Mm-hmm. Might see Keisha on the side and be like, "Hey, what's up, Keisha?" But if you know well, she, she not feeling yeah, it, if you know that she out there munching, her, huh? You're scared of her because uh, I will say this: mm-hmm. Keisha might be the lesbian homie, the lesbian homie because <laughs> nobody got at her. Yep, yeah, and she was fly. Yep, yeah, she looked good. Yep. Mm-hmm. So and didn't nobody try to peel those back? Mm-hmm. I mean, not Nino. Who would not, 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 not G Money? Though. It, it would have to be somebody on the which is why the hierarchy which is why like she couldn't have a man. It's like she couldn't have she a man. Couldn't have a man, and they probably rock with her. You know, mm-hmm. you know who Keisha is right now. Mm-hmm. Jukebox from Raising that's Canaan. What, that's that's mm-hmm. exactly what I was. And thinking. Jukebox is the lesbian yes. home because yep. she yeah. was a little cutie pie, yep. but yeah. she liked box. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, Jukebox is the new reincarnated yeah. yep. Keisha exactly. from the CMB crew. Yep. yep. That's that's, that's what that it is. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, my fault. My it's bad. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was my takeaway. Like after 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 watching that's a it good all, one. I, I never good thought one. of her being the lesbian homie, and it makes sense. I think she's polyamorous. So she probably maybe want to be. She probably, probably, be, she she probably do, a little, do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Little yeah. Little I mean, I just think like, like as a stone cold killer in the crew. First of all, there's there's not like a a softness that I think she would allow herself to have Mm-mm. to have a man. Not nah. around anybody, right? Else. Nah. Um, yeah. So it have like it have to be a lady. What if what if she had a stink off situation where she was like let her hair down, let her yeah. bun down, mm-hmm. and she had like a little bo- a little boyfriend over a college student over there in I the couldn't Yonkers, even, I couldn't even rubbing see her Keisha. back and shit. Yeah. But she couldn't but she be with him in front yeah. of the homies yeah. because <laughs> she can't see her. She can't let them see her be soft. I couldn't see her softening like that. I Dang. feel like she would. I, I, I feel like everything else would be soft, and mm-hmm. she would still have two pistols. Yeah, hilarious, right yeah. there. She got uh-huh. her arms yep. crossed like she's relaxing, but she still got mm-hmm. her guns right there. Mm-hmm. Another mm-hmm. quick nitpick. This is the last little thing that I found that I was like, well, that's odd. <laughs> so Judd Nelson's character, mm-hmm. right, breaks into Nino's apartment. Dog, you know, gets into the safe, mm-hmm. takes what he needs from the safe, gets up out. Mm-hmm. Like the fu- the next scene when it when it's the boys on the stoop and it's Ice T and Judd Nelson, and they go, do you know what apartment Nino Brown lives in? Upstairs. <laughs> right? Like, no, dude, we were already in there. We, you guys were, what's as your man. <laughs> hey, that's, that, that's, that's script yeah. continuity. That's, that's, I was just like, as your uh, man, he was a, up there already. As your man, he's already been inside. Another quick nitpick. <laughs> yeah. this, this is, this, these are regular police detectives, mm-hmm. right? 
when they when they infiltrated the Carter apartments, yeah, this nigga had C four. Yes, I see had C four. That's usually that's and the, laser that's, sight. That's the bomb. You, that's that's the bomb <laughs> yeah. task you, unit yeah. force, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Not the not the detective. Yeah, not but he's the, the wild detective. They're, mm-hmm. These two guys are the wild ones that, that yeah. so he, so he, they go so off he the had, cuff. he had off the market C4. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll accept that then. Because <laughs> their characters are zany. The nigga mm-hmm. would right. shoot, uh, shoot mm-hmm. inside the nigga's house. Right. Okay. I think They're wild. These they're are wild, wild guys. It's uh, Ice-T is like, uh, like the black Bruce Wayne in this movie. Because mm. this fool is wealthy. Right, like you know, we, the we, house was nice when we first seen the law. Yeah, the law was fire. fire. Damn, right? you the loft was fire. fire. The loft was fire. Yeah. Right, like really expensive loft. <laughs> so, and, and it was in New, New York. In New York. In New York. In New York. Right. Oh, God, so, yeah. so clearly, Ice T comes from money for <laughs> sure. Right. Maybe you got his mom was a school teacher though so, in New York. So nah, how that work? You know, yeah. like I said, hum- the humble beginning. But, killed, but so. um, yeah, and maybe. he bankrolled his own clothes. Yeah, for, fits. For, for the, yeah, fits for the, for the meetups. Get you guys some insurance. Mm-hmm. His mom had insurance. Boom, That's boom. what it was. He got branched off. Once he and turned he 18, he teacher. got branched off. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I'm, yeah. I'm still trying to find my mom's killer, but I got yeah. this bread. Uh, <laughs> my other my other nitpick was is uh would would Kareem have been in the uh, in the courthouse? Why like not? like what I mean by that is they all they got him on tape. Like why was he like why? he should have already been in custody? Why is he running? <laughs> right, right, right. Like right. why Nino is he didn't, running? Nino didn't. Why isn't he running? A. Why isn't everybody, why isn't everybody is, running? Why isn't everybody right. running? Why isn't everybody running? Get a. out of there. B. Why? Like why do the police have to wait for like uh, Nino to say like you know Kareem Abdul, the educated brother from the bank? You've got him on tape, like taking Pookie from the 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 lookout. Mm-hmm. To the to the drug, drug store. store. Okay, they're in the drug store. They're in the drug store, talking criminal criminal enterprise. If you know anything about the Supreme Team, that's literally what mm-hmm. uh, um, Supreme did. That's literally what he did. He was going to he was going to people's trials. He mm-hmm. was he went and saw his brother in jail mm-hmm. before he got arrested, and he supposedly did some stuff to like they had him. They had him on tape. Mm-hmm. They had him. They were getting him. They okay. were going to get him, okay. and he was still like, "All right, I'm about to go out to Miami real quick." Mm-hmm. And he was doing, and they're like, "Dude, what are you doing? You should be running. You should be. You shouldn't be here. Laying low. Okay, right. like get out of here. I get it. Right. And I get it." When they caught him, he was just like, "All right, yeah. you got me." But it almost would be like the equivalent of like if G Money was still alive, mm-hmm. G Money sitting in the courthouse. Yeah, like like yeah. that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. He's sitting at the at the. Table with the rest of the crew. <laughs> right. You're right. on camera, nigga. You're, Im- you're implicated for right. sure. Right. And then when the chick was mm-hmm. like, I'll testify, that's your fucking cousin. Mm-hmm. But also, all of them, they, I mean, even Nino was like, hey, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be out of here in a, in a week. Yeah. Like, so I'm, maybe I'm you, not. Maybe you believe that. Yeah. So maybe it's just mm-hmm. like, no, nah, like, we're good. We're, we're, yeah. we're, a, we're a conglomerate. We're, an empire. Yeah. They're not gonna break this down. They can't break that this easy. down. It's not gonna happen. It's interesting. And then he even got. He only got like twelve years. He got a year. He got a year. Yeah. Which, means, which means eight months. Right. For telling on people. And that part is like a snitching. Like Nino Brown was a snitch. Nino Brown was. He was, was, he was, was, he was snitch. a snitch in front of yeah. the court. The an whole apologetic people. snitch for himself the yep. entire time. He was for himself the entire. Clear. Crystal clear. He said the world is mine. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal clear. And now jail was gonna be here. I'm taking down. I'm not that too long. Yeah. Because I'm telling on everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, (laughs) you can't even do that now. Now. Adalator! Yeah. (laughs) Your soul. (laughs) Now the niggas. Now the niggas shot in the heart and sitting in uh, Mr. Simmons' mortuary. Yeah. Also, Mm -hmm. also, this is the first time like we really. Have we ever seen anybody die that good before that? Died well. He died really well. Pow! Shot in the chest. Look lean, at it. Lean forward. Blood. Blood. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then do I the, didn't see anybody get shot in the chest. Look at it. And go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, died. Duke. He mm-hmm. died too good. But that's. Yeah. But that's what you know. Like Nino is is as good as to me as the best role, the career defining oh, yeah. role. He's done I'm, so yeah. many people. He's have, done other things, but so, this is the role. So many pe- people have mimicked the way that, cause like, it's like 
bad guys are supposed to be bad guys. Mm-hmm. And they're supposed like he had so many different layers, like we've been yeah. talking about. Yeah. That it's just like it's like, man, like this this subtle way of being bad mm-hmm. is so good. It's yeah. like you you fall in love with this character. So that's why they had to do all these other things. So yeah. we could be like, dang, like, because otherwise we'd have been like, why why they kill him? Yeah. Why it's did like, they kill him? Yeah. It's like, dude, he even he's like even after selling all the drugs, mm-hmm. even like, after selling all the drugs, this why, is, even why? after uh, yeah. human shielding the little oh, girl, the baby. right? Well, no, that's when I started going. Oh, oh he like, got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. He's, he got to get out of here. When, when he told he told Ice T that he killed the woman, shot her in the face. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. He said I got so zooted. I, I mean, he so had to get high for it though. Yeah, and that's another thing that should tell you too. They have dipped and dabbled in getting high before. Yeah. Yeah. It's like they've been killing people. They've been going through all these things. So G Money <coughs> getting high is not mm-hmm. foreign. He just uh, he 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 let it take him under. Right. Mm-hmm. He he abused. They probably it. all have done something to that. To well, that remember extent. the Dunham man. The Dunham man says to when when G Money first hops into the car, mm-hmm. the Dunham man says, "You know the rules." Yeah. Right. We not we 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 know we don't do drugs. So he's been he knows right. Like you've been you've been doing it. You've been doing, but we don't. You know we don't do this shit no more. Right. And and what and Nino Brown was getting zooted at like sixteen. Yeah. Is a little right. Different. He was like this. Is, he wasn't a drug dealer yet. He was right. like, still like a street thug. Right. This this and movie. So that should tell you what yeah. level G Money was on right there. This movie is still doing drugs. The the best performance of Alan Payne's career. G Money is the best character that he ever paid. This is G Money's apex. Hmm. This is Nino's apex. This is G Money's Apex, for sure. N- Nino has that, and Nino also has Mo Better Blues. But this and is, he has Blade. And he has Demolition and Man. And he has Sugar Hill. Yeah. But but Sugar Nino Hill. Brown. Nino, but Nino, 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 Nino Brown is still Nino Brown. Nino is the Nino, one. Yeah. Nino and is probably mm-hmm. Nino and Blade is probably his two strongest mm-hmm. characters. Yeah. Hmm. Um, what else what else has he been in? I mean, I mean, you know, I loved him in uh in uh, Fugitive. That was my job. yeah. Not yeah. Fugitive. U.S. Marshals, not Fugitive. Mm-hmm. U.S. Marshals, U.S. Marshals, yeah, U.S. Marshals. That's my shit. Yeah. I mean, I what I said to somebody the other day, and and it's interesting because oh, we don't always love on on Wesley the way we maybe should, but Pause. I was like, he's Pause. <laughs> Pause indeed. Pause. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. fine. It's tripwire, yeah, okay. yeah tripwire. You got me. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Wesley to me is like the black Tom Cruise. Okay, black he would, Tom Cruise. you know, is, meaning they, that like he's got a long career. He does action. He uh-huh. does drama. He does you know, stunts. He does sometimes. Yeah, he, like he's just mm-hmm. got it all. Yeah. Like Will, like Will Smith is supposed to be that, mm-hmm. but we could have a conversation about like Will Smith and is Will Smith as good an actor as Wesley Snipes? Mm-hmm. I say no. Mm. Right, like I, I, well, I think Wesley Snipes is a much better actor. I think Will Smith is great at being Will Smith because when I watch Will Smith films, I'll be like, "Oh shit, that's Will Smith pretending to be Muhammad Ali." No. Uh, oh shit, that's Will Smith pretending to be um, the genie. Oh shit, that's Will <laughs> Smith. Genie. Genie. Yeah, yeah, the genie. Oh, no, shit. you can't say that at Pursuit of Happiness. Pursuit of Happiness. That like, shit was crazy. That's Will Smith pre- pretending nah, to be that guy that uh, uh-uh. came off pretending? the streets. When right? he clapped nah. over his head, I felt yeah. that. I'm like, Man. dang, Will Smith. Right but now, I, I said, thought the dude was him. What I mean I by what I dude. what I mean by that is is that to me, mm-hmm. Wesley, like pound for pound, mm-hmm. is a better actor than Will Smith. Will Smith is a is a bigger and better star for sure, but pound for pound. Like tail of the tape, mm-hmm. Weston Snipes is a better actor than Will. I, mm-hmm. I, I agree, but you said much better earlier. Now I, don't, I, I think this is why I get in trouble. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, <laughs> your extremes. When I start, your extremes. When I start qualifying. You know what I'm saying? But I think, but I think Wesley. Like if we think about this movie and then all those other movies that you guys rattled off for and Wesley he Snipes, just, he just knocked out. Just What's the name? Great too? variety, man. The movie with Car- the Kevin Hart movie. Yeah, yeah. He still, knocked that. And, and, damn, so good. And so he. uh is so he's a very dynamic actor mm-hmm. and engaging. He's a uh, very commanding. Um, he fucked his his career up. He would have had a much longer career. Like the IRS, yeah, yeah. Which is something, 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 something. Nigga, pay up, pay up taxes, mm-hmm. nigga. Millionaire ass, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, and and what that did, and what that, that, killed, what that, that killed did, him, what, is that years off his shit. That that cheapened his value. Mm-hmm. Did it right? Like yes. like to me, it, it cheapened his value because it made it like. It made it made a big star seem small. 
Mm-hmm. That you you ain't oh you ain't had the money to pay your taxes, <laughs> right? Like you know you can't be as big as I thought you were, right? Because you got caught up in some tax. Blade, stuff. I think they Blade. should give mm-hmm. they should give people like that deals for taxes. Like, come on. It's like also this man is Blade. I heard, but I heard also here, yeah, he, he owned a gang <laughs> of bread. Is, mm-hmm. This man is Blade. He like is, the studio is, should be like, oh, we he got is that. responsible <laughs> for for bringing Marvel Marvel back. Yes, yes. So he is Blade. He's Blade. Mm-hmm. Stall him out. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, it's hard to compare it with Smith and Wesson tax though because the bigger star you are, mm-hmm. the harder it is to not see that person in the movie. Right. Big facts. Right. Mm-hmm. Off the camera. Yeah. Big Dame, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big Dame Came with the, the with the bar right. with the bar of a response. Yes, right. It's very true when you see someone that's so famous. Yeah. It, imagine Elvis playing um, a, a detective. You can play that's Elvis playing the detective. Right. He's such a big personality, He's such a big public mm-hmm. figure. I get it. I mean, I see what I see. I kind of see Wesley doing that though. Like even though he's Blade, it's like that's still Wesley Snipes. Well, and Wesley, it's still Wesley. So I mean. I, and I would say that because his name is dope. Mm-hmm. Wesley <laughs> Like, Snipes. you can't call him nothing but Wesley Snipes. Yeah. Nothing. It's like, oh, Blade. Wesley. You mean, you mean Wesley Trent Snipes. Snipes. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was a good point. Um, uh, I think... I think Wesley became... I think Will Smith became a bigger star than Wesley because of his... Mm-hmm. Wesley's career ended 20 years ago. It stalled 20 years ago. It did yeah. stall. Yeah, yeah. It's, Blade it's, was like early 2009, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. he didn't have nothing in 05, 06, 07, 08, you know what I'm saying? He didn't... I mean, he did, like he was doing a lot of... We talking about Blade caliber shit. We talking about right. Um, right. Nino like, Brown caliber shit. Like if like if it kind of falls off, like he does Blade 2, he does Blade Trinity. Trinity. Was that, 2004 and, or 5? Blade Trinity is 2004, right? Yeah. Then he does like The Marksman, Chaos, mm-hmm. Hard Luck, The Contractor. No. None of that. All the work, then, then it's Brooklyn's Finest in 2009 Richard Gere right um, and then yeah then then he then it stalls out then you get the Expendables you know Chirac mm-hmm. but then he starts coming back around with like Dolomite is my name mm-hmm. you know coming to America so he starts to work again yeah. but like you say he starts to work okay I mean but if you look <laughs> at like <laughs> like if you look at like his 90s run like his 90s run is is Bananas, That's right? What I'm saying. Like, it's, years like ago. it starts in '89 yeah. with like Major League '90, King of New York '90, yeah. Mo Better Blues '91, yeah. New Jack City '91, New Jack City '92, White Men Can't Jump '92, yeah. Passenger '57. So yeah. like, boiling point, let's, rise let's, of food, demolition man, Sugar Hill, Drop Zone, uh-huh. like killer, just just a <sighs> serious. He's doing, run. He was doing what Will Smith is doing, yeah. since Independence Day. Serious, you know, I run. Robot. See, but I, you know what I'm saying I am Legend. Wesley was, Wesley was doing that in the 90s. Seriously. See, but that's the thing. I feel like, because Will Smith's career, like, he picks his movies, like, pretty mm-hmm. well. Like, he has. But those are the movies. Mm-hmm. The iRobot. The, uh, what's the one where he's by himself the entire time? I, I, am I, I Am Legend. I Am Legend. That's yeah. crazy. Great movie. But then, in between those movies, he's doing movies that people are just like, hmm. I'll I'll ask yeah. you. I'll but ask those you. other movies are making him that. So, it's like, they kind of. I'll ask you an important question. I feel like Wesley Snipes could play any role that Will Smith played. I do not think that Will Smith could play every role. That's uh, I, I I think that's but not true. Will Smith can can be Nino Brown. Woo! Yes, he can. Will Smith Who can, can Will be Smith Nino be Brown? Nino Brown? I mean, well, he would have to be black. He'd have to be like my complaint. No, he no, would no, not. No, Hell no. no. That's a part of it. That's no, 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 no. What's he, what? Nigga, let me Will tell you, LL Cool J played a hell of yes. a villain God. in Waist Deep. God. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, well, LL Cool J. <laughs> no. He, yeah. no. Nigga. Nah. I'm not going there. I, I, can't, oh, no, I, can't, crazy. I can't see Will Smith eating a banana. <laughs> you know what hey, I mean? that's a difference. Yeah, that is a that is There's the that. difference. I, so, Will I he, can, can he eat the banana and be scary? Will Smith cannot play <laughs> a heartless drug drug lord. It's not in his Ooh. range. Ooh. He it's can't achieve it. Range? I can't. He can't I, I, wanna, I, I love Will Smith, and I want to disagree with you, but, but I'm like, can't. I can't see him playing Nino Brown. Right. Um, he can't play Nino. And Brown. it's not because of his complexion. Look, brother, I, I can't I see him playing. Can I you mean, get, let me tell both of y'all something. Can you? Can, I can see uh, 
um, what's his name? Uh, Lawrence Fishburne playing Nino Brown for sure. Hell yeah. I, I, let me tell y'all something about this man, Will mm-hmm. Smith. Okay. Mm-hmm. First of all, he's been going through a lot. Yeah. A man, a man that goes through that much to where he will walk up on stage and slap another man. He slapped Pookie. <laughs> he, he slapped Pookie. <laughs> And that's what I'm talking about. That so maybe no brand. That's the only Slapping reason Pookie. why nah. he might be able to play Nino Brown. But he, he, looked like a, he looked like a sucker doing it. He did. He did. <laughs> right? He did. He like, did. Like, Nino, when did Nino look like a sucker doing stuff? Listen, listen. If Wesley no, Snipes, didn't. if Wesley Nino Snipes was, was in the audience and Wesley Snipes walked on stage and slapped the shit out of out of Chris Rock, the, we would be like, God damn. Will Wesley Snipes is the hardest motherfucker in the world. No. And Wesley right. can really fight too, though. Yeah. Wesley yeah, can yeah, that really would, fight. That just wouldn't have been fair. Yeah. 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 And, I, and, I've really seen, and I've and I've seen him like in, in real life. Yeah. And he just be on some like calm stuff. Yeah. He's like a really mm-hmm. calm. Yeah. Like, you want Wesley? Yeah. Yeah. He my boy was was at his party going crazy because mm-hmm. he had, he he got invited to uh uh where's the big festival? Uh Coachella? Sundance. Sundance. Mm-hmm. Sundance. Mm-hmm. My boy was out there. So that's dope. You gotta go. <laughs> they had two parties. They had one out here and they had one to Sundance. When my boy went to Sundance, he said he was wild. He was all over the place. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. said Wesley Snipes came up to him and was like, brother, mm-hmm. keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep it together. Yeah. Keep it Chill together. out. Yeah. And he was just like, yeah. Okay. Yep, man. That's Nino's. That's Nino's status right there. <laughs> it's like they watch it. Wesley. That's Nino's status. <laughs> Wesley. Let's let's get into some categories. Unless there's any okay. other story story pieces, I I think some of these are easy. Uh, who's your MVP of, of New Jack City? Dang. Who's your My MVP, MVP is uh, it's an easy call for mm-hmm. me. Ice T. Ice T. MVP. Ice T. Yeah. Ice T, because I know Ice T is a is a a street nigga for real. Yeah, yeah. that turned actor, that turned mm-hmm. rapper first, yeah. actor, and have him play like the. Even though he's always been, he even as a street nigga, he always was had some type of mm-hmm. code mm-hmm. ethics about himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to see him playing this cop, this is even before Law and Order. This is right. even before the. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yep. I think he played. I think he did a good job. Based off him being a, a rapper actor, mm-hmm. and I did not know his career was going to be what it is now. Yeah, yeah. and so him playing at ninety one, him playing uh, um, Scotty, mm-hmm. Scotty uh, Applegate, Appleseed, not Appleseed, Appleton, Appleton. There you yeah. go. <laughs> and nigga say Apple Seed, nigga. <laughs> Scotty Appleseed. That's Johnny. Yeah, Scotty. That's, a, that's, Johnny a, Apple- that's his Scotty homeboy, Johnny Appleseed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think he. Uh, I, it, it was see Wesley was so strong, but yeah. so was but so was Ice T. I, I I I liked the I liked the um the the contrast. Between they were the they two. were yeah. they were a great, you know. They felt even. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm right? saying. They they felt even, right? I, like you know, I could that could the roles could have been reversed. I could yeah. see Ice T playing Nino Brown. Yeah, it wouldn't mm-hmm. have been as good. <laughs> It wouldn't have been as good. Yeah, no, of it, course not. It, 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 it wouldn't have been as good, but it still would have been strong mm-hmm. because uh, Wesley Snipes playing Scotty no. would have been strong. But there's not dope. there's not enough depth to Scotty's character that we would be able to see to like fall in love with. We just know like this dude is trying to find. He's trying no, because the, 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 the scenes with Scott, with mm-hmm. Pookie getting clean and Scotty yeah. being there and jogging with him and helping yeah. him eat and work out, that shows so that showed him in a different light than him going against Chud Nelson's character like, all the time. None of those scenes are stronger than any Wesley Snipes scenes. That's what I'm saying. I get that. Okay. I'm saying, but that's where Ice T would shine, right? Playing okay. Nino Brown. Yeah, I, I still I'm I'm not saying, I'm not disagreeing with you mm-hmm. that it wouldn't be as good, but I still think it would be a strong film. Yeah, okay. Ice T Ice T in '91 yeah. playing Nino Brown, you yeah. actually see him doing that back then. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. I can right. see him playing the gangster kingpin of, of New York and Wesley Snipes playing Wesley playing like the cop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. It yeah. probably wouldn't be as strong because he can't eat the banana. <laughs> I think he could he have to. Yeah. Eat a, he would have to eat an apple or something. So <laughs> it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. He what was he, what was he eating? What was he eating in the Japanese pool? Whatever that was, right? They was eating grapes, <laughs> grapes and shit. There you and go. He, I could tell that he wasn't even comfortable doing that. Yeah. Watch that scene again. Yeah, yeah, the girl was dangling grapes. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> so he true. probably was like, nigga, I, yeah. that's so true. He's a that's pimp, true. but he also a gangster too. That's, yeah. so that's, pimp, that's gangster so true. Too. He's like, I feed myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, for me, the MVP is easy as Wesley Snipes. He carries the movie. 
Hey man, right? Of course. You know, he's like he's uh he's all of it is believable that, because mm-hmm. I believe in Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Yeah. Right? Like I believe that the character of Nino Brown exists. Mm-hmm. What's interesting, and maybe we will start to do, you know, like after we get more more episodes under our belt, I'd like to I'd like to do like a like a black movie slash black TV kingpin archive. Mm. You know what I mean? Like 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 ranking. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, uh-huh. like if we look at all the fictitious kingpin slash drug lords, mm-hmm. like Nino Brown is the closest thing to Scarface you're gonna get. It's really yeah. close. Right? Like yeah, yeah. but but then there's like, you know, like Avon Barksdale. I love um, him. I love Gus him. Fring. Right? Uh-huh. Like, you know, like like all of these other like iconic black kingpins. But that's how that's how good Nino is. You gotta is throw, that it, uh, you gotta throw uh, uh, Michael K. Williams in there too. Yeah, you talking about Chucky White? No, I'm talking. Uh, he's not. He's not a kingpin, but he's he's the Omar. 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 Yeah, you gotta throw yeah. Omar. In right. There. Yeah. So 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 I that's. Thought, I thought you meant like like leaders or something like he's saying. He's. I mean, he's leader no, no. himself. But that's how <laughs> good. That's how good Wesley was to me uh, as Nino. Is it immediately makes me want to like. Rank him the top, mm. like like I, it it immediately. So we did the no, people won't argue that. Yeah. No, 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 they, they would not argue that yeah, yeah. at all. It, it, we we did the poll of what movie you want us to do first next. Mm-hmm. Like New Jack City got so many more yeah. votes yeah. than every other, all the other movies. So yeah, yeah. New Jack City is that film. Yeah, and that Wesley movie. Snipes is that as the dude. Yeah, uh, that's dude. a good question. Could Will Smith? I want to ask the viewers: Could Will Smith play Nino Brown? You can't do it. He can't can do it. I'm telling you. I think Will Smith can do a lot. He can do a lot. Mm-hmm. But I don't think Nino. Mm-hmm. And there's and there's nothing, there's nothing that if we get out, out of complexion zone, there's nothing <laughs> that that Will Smith has done that ne- that Wesley Snipes couldn't do. Hmm. He couldn't do Ali. He couldn't play a boxer? He could. He could. He, Wesley Snipes couldn't he has play. To, he yes, he's that. He could, could not play. Ali, he could he, play. He, he couldn't play. play a demonstrative uh, boxer. He, yes, he was that. He did. He was that boxer in jail. Remember, he was in jail making mm-hmm. making uh, houses out of toothpicks. You talking about? You talking about uh, Animal or the movie he did against Ving Rhames? Yeah, mm-hmm. he did part. Yeah, he did part. Yeah. yeah. No, um, he could. He couldn't play Muhammad because of the of the look, but he right. could play yeah. a, a, a menacing boxer right. for sure. Mm-hmm. Right. He. Wesley Snipes is dope. He can do it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He can do it all. I Am Legend with, with Wesley Snipes. Yes. He can do that. It's a better movie. It's a better movie? Oh, see, did you know what I got there? No, I Am Legend was crazy. You know what <laughs> we'll make? There's, I am a le- certain, there's a certain charm mm-hmm. that uh, that uh, Will Smith? has paused yeah. Yeah. That, that makes him dope. Right. Yeah. Like, I Am Legend, seeing him mm-hmm. um, with his dog, that moment when he's- yeah. when he With the mannequin. Him. The yeah. mannequin. Oh, my and goodness. Him and his- like, Nah, he, he's, yeah. he, he's dope on his own, right? Yeah. He, uh, Denzel's my guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Denzel, mm-hmm. Jeffrey Wright, Don yeah. Cheeto- uh, Wesley Snipes low key is yeah. in there too. See, I feel it? that that's Den- Denzel does more Denzel mm-hmm. than anybody. I feel like whenever Denzel Denzel is, movie, is what, Denzel what Dame movie. is talking about because Denzel Den- Den- Denzel mm-hmm. <laughs> Denzel is such a commanding presence. Right. right, it's hard. He makes the character that he doesn't turn into the character. The character turns into him. Mm-hmm. Right when they when, when people write, he's most likely the person for the job. Right. Except Training Day. He yeah. turned into yeah, yeah. he turned yeah. into uh, he, turned, he was that dude. so Lorenzo right mm-hmm. yeah Alonzo Lorenzo Alonzo yeah it was he was a Lorenzo I think one of the two yeah one um, of those I'm just yeah you know, I'm just you he, know he he would be a hell of a Nino yeah a hell Who, of a Denzel Nino. yeah if he if he play like that I mean yeah it's you know take take Frank Lucas the young Frank Lucas mm-hmm. oh well the Frank Lucas in the American Gangster and and uh, uh, Lorenzo yeah. in Training Day that's Nino Brown for that's sure Nino Brown for sure but he's yeah. like you block that. Yeah. Yeah. Alpaca block yeah. that yeah. nigga. That's Nino Brown. Watch yeah. that shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. I'm with yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Who's your MVP? My MVP is definitely Nino Brown. Yeah. Uh, Fair. Just because For of everything. It. You know what I'm saying? Just, just because of the fruit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because and the, the girls. Like, mm-hmm. like he he. You gotta think about that character. That character transcends like all black bad guys. Yeah. He when, even in that, Martin. Martin. Mm-hmm. Was Nino Brown right. and made it funny? Like, yes, funny. <laughs> made it funny, yes. but like we were still. Soon as he came out and mm-hmm. dressed in all black with the, with the yeah. turtleneck and the chain, we, we said. already knew. 
Nino Brown. Nino this fool Brown. doing Nino Brown right now. Nino Brown. Cole, sit your five dollar ass down before for I make change. change. The, uh, Wesley Snipes had all the women mm-hmm. loving him, just yeah. like Denzel had yes. all the women yeah. loving him. Yes, that that was the era of like Wesley Snipes. Um, what's nigga name Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else at that so time? Just, what you didn't know was Nino didn't die from the gunshot. He ended up going into protective custody, marrying a white woman, damn, and meeting old girl in a in a <laughs> and waiting to exhale. Come on now, Angela oh Bassett, shit, hilarious nigga. <laughs> Ain't got a whole new profession you in the protective custody. Your He's, multiverse is bananas. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Your multiverse is bananas. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Protective custody. Protective custody. Marrying, marrying the white marrying woman. Marrying the white woman. She yeah. got cancer. Mm-hmm. Huh? They in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. In Arizona. And, and, and working a job is part of his cover. That's a part of his mm-hmm. cover. Man. Then he meets this young lady Listen. who has this Listen. fuck off on her forehead. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. He's been, he's Ooh, been here before. I'm scared of you. I'm scared mm-hmm. of you. It's great. Mm-hmm. Another thing before we before great. we get out of here, man. Um, how many fists are we doing that? Oh snap! Uh, I mean, I think I think it's obvious. Come it's on, ten, ten fists, yeah. ten fists. <laughs> ten and fists. since we can't go ten, we got to cut it in half mm-hmm. and say five. You gotta say five. Yeah. New Jack City gets five fists for sure. Am I am I my co-host keeper? Huh. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I am. Am I my co-host keeper? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> man. Black buses, we all we got. We all we got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> BBB, Black Buses sound. Boys. Yeah. Pause. That kind of just sounds funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But real quick, uh-huh. I'm going to say this on the on, on the way out. Yeah. I forget the name of the movie, but it was Wesley Snipes as the, as the lead, and the co-lead was Annihilation. Oh, yes, man. check mm-hmm. me. It's a, uh, it's, it's like a, art disappearing acts. Some disappearing mm-hmm. acts. Disappearing acts. Yes. Boom. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, acts. and it was good. Yeah, it was awkwardly acts. good. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Wesley carried it. Yeah. Huh? Wesley he did. carried it. He did. But yeah. Wesley carries everything. Yeah. Remember when he first mm-hmm. walked in her house and he was sitting there, like on the wall, mm-hmm. just kicking it. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. how you doing? But she, yeah, I don't know what happened with, with Sana and you, bro. Cause uh, mm-hmm. cause she, cause she, cause she has a she has a charm to her, bro. She does. She does. She's amazing, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I like, like I say, I love her in loving basketball. Mm-hmm. Love loving basketball. You mm-hmm. don't like her in brown sugar. I don't like her. In brown but he, sugar. Like, you gotta watch this episode. This I gotta watch the whole thing because they they said some crazy shit yeah. to me about brown I'm, sugar. And I'm actually yeah, like. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I like for us to put that whole uh, scene behind us. Uh, <laughs> uh, I shouldn't even it. brought up yeah. Sanaa. Yeah. I shouldn't have brought her up. You got to keep talking about um, yeah. We're going yeah. to get up out of here, y'all. Thank oh, y'all for come. tapping yeah. in with Thank us. <laughs> this was another great episode. Thank mm-hmm. you, brother. Ken Edwin TV, Thank you man. So much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hopefully, yes, sir. I did some justice out here. Absolutely, you know man. We could have um, talked about this this movie for eight we hours. Really, could there was like a thousand things that we didn't even we did, touch we on. We didn't even touch on. Yeah. But we'll do it again. It, it, oh yeah, I think this will be a multiple. You know what? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to come back and do that again yeah. because we still we gotta talk about Chris Rock. Yeah. We, are, we barely even talked talk about, about Pookie. Yeah, and, 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 and we know Chris Rock can't act, but he did a decent job as Pookie. Mm-hmm. He just stopped acting. Good yeah. mm-hmm. after this after this movie, and I won't say he can't act. He's just he's like a Seinfeld. Like Seinfeld, mm-hmm. it had a successful show, and he's not the, uh, the biggest actor, the best actor. Yeah. But he, I, I fucked with Seinfeld, Seinfeld as an actor on the show. Mm-hmm. But he's Chris, never he's never done a he's never done anything in a movie that was actually good. I Who? think okay, so Seinfeld. I, oh yeah, yeah Chris no. Rock is like this is nah like, he now nah, yeah. he you played, can actually teach a master class on him. And being shout a out to the director. Of um, New Jack City because he had Christopher Williams in there acting his ass yeah. off. Yeah, uh, like he could have been a leading man. Chris, yeah, looked like he could have right, been I'll a be leading sure man. Actually, helped produce this mo- mo- movie, so that's mm-hmm. why a lot of those guys were getting in there like that. Yeah, come on, man. Which that's is amazing. Dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yep. Hmm. All right, folks. Yeah, man. Love life, man. This is a great one, uh, brother Big Tone. Yes, sir. Appreciate you always. Yes, sir. Can ever TV. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Yes, indeed. Thank you, man. Uh, this was another successful uh, podcast. New York, we doing this again. New Jack City, we gonna do this again. Um, we gotta, we gotta continue some more about this show. And um, 
I'm your host, Big Ja, and we out of here, man. Catch us next time on another episode of Blackbusters. Be good or be good at it. I'm out of here. Pew to the max. <laughs>